always had problems with my posture. So basically since I was 11 years old. Young women have tremendous amount of backache. It's one of the top problems that women have when they go to see their doctors. I've always had problems with my posture, so basically since I was 11 years old, I went on a trip to Thailand, in two weeks I grew maybe three inches. And since then I've sort of been crouching over, you know, I've been hunching over. Young women have tremendous amount of backache, it's one of the top problems that women have when they go to see their doctors. The fact that you're sitting at a computer all day, you don't, you don't exercise at all, you wear high heels, that's going to make your posture worse. What high heels will do is because they are raising your heel up, they're going to force your knees into flexion to balance. The best cure for chronic back pain is exercise. And chiropractors and doctors far and wide all agree on this. Exercise can take the form of Tai Chi, Qigong, uh, sports, as long as there is attention to alignment. And of course, yoga. So I decided I would try Pilates. We work with the springs for the resistance and you will work, do exercises on your back, kneeling, seated, Standing. The whole thing about Pilates is that you're not going to build a lot of bulky muscle, you end up with lean muscle so you look taller and just skinnier in general. A familiar tip, but nevertheless it's very important, don't carry your bag on your shoulder. Try and have a bag that you actually carry in your hand, which is designed for carrying a bag. The pace of modern life breeds tension. Through back bending, side bending, forward bending, yoga can help a busy person to learn how to breathe deeply. Even a simple walk to the water fountain. Uh, or getting up while you're on a conference call uh, using headsets. All those little things can help to even alleviate the back pain uh, to a degree. Since it's something that can be corrected with simple awareness and a little bit of exercise, it, there's almost no excuse for it. <laughs>Investment for spring for our readers is a double breasted blazer. I mean, we've been seeing the boyfriend blazer time and again. It's obviously very popular for spring. I really think that's something that you know you can throw over with sundress, wear with shorts, stuff like that. I think it's really cute. So I think that's a great purchase for our reader to have for spring. It's really nice to have a chic flat sandal for work. If you spend a little bit more money and buy something nice like a Jimmy Choo or a Christian Louboutin, you're not gonna feel out of place at work when everyone else is wearing heels. The one trend that I think is really easy and really wearable for our readers would be our lived-in trend. Um, Burberry did it, Prada sort of did it. Um, it was like the more crinkly, it's just worn and it looks, you know, kind of like rumpled, you know, almost, and like which is really easy, but it was, it was done in a very chic way. I'm very into the sleeveless jacket. I think for the office it's very useful and you can dress it up easy day to night. And Michael Kors told me an interesting thing, that American offices are still really designed for men. And the sleeveless jacket is actually a very nice compromise. You can always wear a cardigan or a t-shirt underneath it, but it gives you a little bit of armor and sort of suiting, but without being too formal. And the thing that I think every reader should have being the denim editor, I would say a great pair of boyfriend jeans. You know, just really ripped up, a little bit baggy, but not too baggy, and kind of just make them your own and create your own style through them. For me personally, I think for spring, summer, I'm gonna be over a heavy leather bag. I want sort of loose, carefree, lightweight, packs a lot of punch bag. My splurge for spring, hopefully will be the Pierre Hardy neoprene bag. This season, I would recommend that all our readers buy a jacket of some kind. It's not the it bag, it's not the it shoe, it's all about the jacket. Be it an oversized boyfriend blazer, it could be a leather bomber jacket, it could be a little crop jacket, um, just buy a jacket. Shower your skin with our richest blend of cream and natural oil. Dove Cream Oil Body Washes for velvety soft skin. The ultimate moisture from Dove. Also try Dove Cream Oil Body Lotion with 50% more moisturizer than other leading brands. It's the ultimate moisture from Dove.
I'm the most voracious reader I know. Uh, and I, I find, you know, I feel like books kind of saved my life in, in some way. And I just, I think it's really important to um, get children reading and get them reading a bit more than they are now because it's, you know, TV's uh, taken over the world, internet's taken over TV, and uh, kids lose that, that essential thing that, that books bring them, which is imagination.